So you probably already know about sprawl, that thing where people move further and further out into the suburbs as the region grows. Instead of high-rise apartments, you get miles of cul-de-sacs. And sprawl drives more sprawl. The more spread out a community is, the more expensive it becomes to serve. That's why, in the 90s, Washington State introduced the Growth Management Act, forcing counties to determine where dense growth was allowed. See this border? Inside this border, dense developments can be built and are legally required to receive certain water and sewer services. But outside the border, houses can be built but have to be much more spread out, and they're usually reliant on septic tanks and water wells. This place inside the border is called the Urban Growth Area, or the UGA. If the UGA starts to run out of room, there's a lengthy process for counties to be able to expand it, and a growth management hearings board that can overturn the decisions. Now, if you're a developer and you own some property outside the UGA, you stand to make a lot more money if the border expands to include your property. Suddenly, your property is worth a lot more because you can build a much denser housing development. But let's say the county expands their urban growth area into your property, but it's quickly overturned by the Growth Management Hearings Board or local court. That's no problem. You just have to be vested, a developer term for the legal establishment of a property. If you're vested, you can still build the dense property, and you still get water and sewer services even if the expansion is ruled invalid. Typically, there's a good reason for laws like that. But Washington State is unique in that it has one of the loosest vesting laws in the nation. All you have to do is get your pre-development paperwork approved, and voila! your spot is saved. There have been multiple times that Spokane County has expanded its boundaries only to have the decision challenge. But the challenges haven't really mattered because developers line up like sprinters and starting blocks waiting for the UGA to expand so they can get all their paperwork in before the decision is reversed.